हेलो फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री क्लासेज बाय विजय कुमार सेठी क्लास एलेवेंथ केमिस्ट्री वी विल स्टार्ट यूनिट टू स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डिस्कवरी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रोटॉन एंड न्यूट्रॉन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डिस्कवरी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन साइंटिस्ट मेनली फेराडे परफॉर्म्ड एक्सपेरिमेंट्स यूजिंग केथोड रे डिस्चार्ज ट्यूब्स ए केथोड रे ट्यूब इज मेड ऑफ ग्लास containing two thin pieces of metal called electrodes sealed in it you can see this diagram this is a cathode ray discharge tube okay this is one tube at one end this is the electrode cathode this is another end another electrode that is anode these anode and cathode are linked to the external source of energy that is this is high voltage source of energy and this goes to the vacuum pump with the help of this the pressure in this tube can be managed okay at the normal pressure that is when gas in the tube is at normal pressure and voltage is low nothing is remarkable in this tube but at very low pressure and at very high voltage is a stream of particles moving in the tube from the negative electrode to the positive electrode was observed and these stream of particles were called cathode rays or cathode ray particles actually these rays were seem to be coming from cathode that's why they were named as cathode rays the flow of a strip of particles from cathode to anode was further checked by using perforated anode perforated means having hole small pores and coating the tube behind anode with phosphorescent material zinc sulfide now what is this phosphorescent material material giving off light after radiation has hit it okay you can see this diagram this is the perforated anode and behind it this tube is coated with the fluorescent material okay when these rays after passing through anode strike the zinc sulfide coating a bright spot is developed on the coating these rays themselves are not visible but their behavior can be observed with the help of certain kind of materials fluorescent or phosphorescent which glow when hit by them television picture tubes are cathode ray tubes and television pictures result due to fluorescence on the television screen coated with certain fluorescent or phosphorescent materials now what are the difference between these two fluorescent and phosphorescent materials fluorescent materials cease to glow nearly immediately when the radiation source stops unlike phosphorescent materials which continue to emit light for some time after now what are the characteristics of cathode rays cathode rays travel in straight line how can we verify it if we place an opaque object between the path of cathode rays then a cast a shadow is obtained that is cathode rays cast shadow it indicates that these travel in a straight line they consist of particles again if we place one light wheel between the path of these rays that will start to rotate it indicates that these cathode rays consist of particles particles consisting cathode rays are negatively charged how can we verify if electric field is applied to these rays then these rays deviate towards the positive plate it indicates that particles consisting cathode rays are negatively charged cathode rays can ionize gas they can heat objects that they hit you can say it is heating effect is observed charge to mass ratio of the particles is independent 
clear independent of nature of material of electrode and nature of gas present in cathode ray tube it means whatever the metal electrode or whatever the gas taken in that cathode ray tube the e by m ratio is always constant for the particles of these rays and these particles were named as electron by j j thomson now what are the characteristics of electron electrons are negatively charged represented by e or e minus j j thomson measured the e by m that is charge to mass ratio e for charge and m for mass of electron and this is 1.758820 into 10 raised to the power 11 coulomb per kilogram another scientist r a milikan using oil drop experiment determine the charge on the electrons the present accepted value of electrical charge is Minus 1.602176 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 coulomb. Actually, this value is the absolute value for charge, and this minus because electrons are negatively charged. With the help of these two values, that is, with the help of E by m and with the help of this charge. we can find out the mass of electron by using this relationship m is equal to e divided by e by m put the value okay use the absolute value don't put minus okay and this is e by m if we solve it we will get 9.1094 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg now discovery of protons in 1886 goldstein discovered existence of positively charged rays in the discharge tube by using perforated cathode okay these rays were named as anode rays or canal rays now again you can see this setup for the experiment this is perforated cathode okay and these radiations seem to coming from anode that's why termed as anode rays and these are passing through these holes of this perforated cathode and these holes can be regarded as canals that's why these were termed as canal rays the discovery of protons can be attributed to rutherford now what are the characteristics of canal rays travel in straight line again in the same way if we place a opaque object between the path of these canal rays again they cast the shadow it indicates they they travel in a straight line consist of particles again if light wheel is placed between the path of canal rays it start to rotate it indicates that the rays consist of particles particles consisting of canal rays are positively charged again if we apply the electric field then these rays deviate towards the negative plate it indicates that particles consisting of canal rays are positively charged canal rays can ionize gas they can heat objects that they heat that is heating effect is observed and this is most important charge to mass ratio of the particles is a depend on the nature of gas present in cathode ray tube and if hydrogen gas is taken in the tube then this charge to mass ratio is minimum now what will be the condition then it may be minimum either charge is maximum or mass is minimum again expand says that its mass is minimum so we can say when hydrogen gas is taken we get the smallest particle okay the smallest and lightest positive particle was obtained from hydrogen and that particle was called proton now again characteristic of proton protons are positively charged represented by p or p plus the e by m that is charge to mass ratio proton is 9.6 into 10 to the power 7 coulomb per kilogram 
the charge on proton is plus 1.602176 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb again see this magnitude is same as the top charge on electron only difference this is positive and charge on electron is negative we can also find out the mass of proton by using e divided by e by m put the value and this will come 1.6726 into 10 raised to the power minus 27 kilogram it is 1837 times heavier than an electron now discovery of neutrons neutrons were discovered by chadwick in 1932 by bombarding a thin sheet of beryllium by alpha particles it has no electrical charge that is it is neutral it is represented as small n its mass is 1.6749 into 10 to the power minus 27 kilogram is slightly greater than that of proton it is 1842 times heavier than an electron and this table compare the properties of these fundamental particles electron proton and neutron symbols electron is e proton is p neutron is n this is the absolute charge minus 1.602176 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb this is plus 1.602176 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and neutron charge is zero if we find out the relative charge then for electron minus one for proton plus one for neutron zero mass this is the absolute mass in kilogram for electron 9.109382 into 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram for proton 1.672216 into 10 to the power minus 27 kilogram and for neutron 1.674927 into 10 to the power minus 27 we can compare this is a little difference between mass of proton and neutron in case of u this can be written as for electron this is 0 0.00054 for proton 1.00727 for neutron 1.00867 and approximately mass in unified mass unit for electron is 0 proton is 1 and neutron is 1 clear friends subscribe my channel to get the new video and in that video we will discuss about the atomic models thompson model and rutherford model thank you